How many times when you were a kid did you watch The Brady Bunch and dream about marrying Peter Brady? Well, if you're anything like me, lots. And for one woman, this dream will become a reality. Our guests today are actor Christopher Knight and model Adrian Curry, who met and fell in love on the celeb reality show The Surreal Life, and are here today to talk weddings and all things reality. Please welcome to Sidewalks, Adrian and Chris. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you with us today. Yeah, I feel like I'm with you. I, we've got jelly bellies here, and I hear that they're based from your hometown. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. I know that jelly bellies have been such a popular item for weddings uh, with your upcoming wedding. Is this something that you guys are going to be using at your event? Absolutely. You can set up a buffet and have your guests pick it out themselves and put it in a bag, and that way you don't have to do anything. And that is my route to the perfect wedding. <laughs> jelly belly beans are the party favor of choice. They're easy. <laughs> very nice. Now, what kinds of things are you planning to make your day special? Well, whatever we're planning, we're planning it online. We've discovered with the little time that we have to plan a wedding, we're behind on everything. And we've discovered the web as a, an excellent resource for getting all the details accomplished. We got our wedding bands just the other day from whiteflash.com, which was awesome because he was really late on it. I got inscribed on the inside of my band, I will kill you if you leave me. <laughs> and and then on the other side, on the other side of the ring or the other ring, it says, if you don't plan the honeymoon tomorrow, I'm a dead man. Yes. Because that's another thing I haven't gotten to yet. And, and of no. course, we're turning back to the web for that. I, I've, I've discovered a great website, kayak.com, to plan all your honeymoon needs. Well, it sounds like you guys have it pretty well under wraps, though. Uh, well, it sounds like you've gotten a lot of resources available to help you. Oh, I tell them, I'm like, you know what, we're in Hawaii right now. Let's just not leave. You know, we're in Kauai at the Marriott Resort. Let's just stay here and get married here and have our honeymoon here. And just, you know, whatever to all the plans we made, if you make it, you, you make it. If you don't, you don't. I, I tried to pitch that to her up front. Let's just let's just run away and get married. And she didn't buy it at the time. No, I didn't buy it because my family wants a big wedding. But now that we're in the planning process and we're having to turn to the internet last minute to plan everything, even though it's getting done, I'm it's stressful. And I just kind of wish we just ran away now. Vegas drive-through sounds good at this point. Weddings well, are a big deal. You no, know, you say that now, but I will. I'll tell you from my own personal experience that there's nothing like having your dreams come true and walking down the aisle and having a traditional wedding. Oh, the, the uh, day it's something I, that you'll never forget. Yeah, the day I look forward to, I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. There's nothing more I want in the world than to just enjoy the moment of uniting our souls. But every day leading up to that day, I kind of just want to stab myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang in there. It's going to be fine. Well, thank now, you. you know, you've both done a couple of reality shows. Just America's fair. Next Top Model, The Surreal Life, My Fair Brady. How do you cope with the intrusiveness of the cameras? Explain to our viewers about what that experience is like. Well, mm. to, to cope with the actual airing of it, just don't watch it. But to cope with the actual <laughs> cameras being there, we've had the same people filming our lives so much by now, we know them all. So it's, it's actually kind of comfortable. The only uncomfortable part is once it airs. It's not at all comfortable. It's, very, it's highly uncomfortable. I like them. They're nice people. They don't talk. It's like they're not there. They're fine with me. It's the <laughs> hardest thing I've ever had to do. It is, it is it's incredibly unusual and, and um, it's stressful. See, I mean, he's a loner. I'm from a big Italian family and it just feels like there's family around again. You know what I'm saying? Just all these people yes. scuttling about. The only you problem bet. is when you I bet. talk to them, they don't respond. <laughs> now, are you guys reality show fans? Do you watch any particular shows? Gosh, um, I like to watch The Girls Next Door on E. Um, <laughs> what, what else do I like to watch? Well, we are uh, Surreal Life American, fans. Um, yeah, I love Surreal Life. That's the only reason I did it. Um, Flav has got us hooked. <laughs> yeah, the Flav of Love. Uh, American Idol, but only the last episode because it's the only right. one really worth watching is and to know who won. I get all of right. my resources from, from Bonaducci. <laughs> oh, gosh. I figure, I figure as long as I don't go that far, I'm okay. I, I know it, it right. sounds really sad, but I, I watch like a lot of VH1 shows only because I, I feel I know these people and I'm friends with them. Like I watch uh, uh, Hogan Knows Best all the time because I love Brooke. She's such a sweet girl, and yeah. I like to see her try to break away from her dad's iron fist, which is really <laughs> large. There's something really <laughs> infectious about these shows, and um, I, prior to actually being introduced to them, um, 
by in fact being asked to do Surreal Life, I had to actually watch a season and, and, and in sitting down and watching uh, season two it was, I you know sort of decided that they, they were okay and, and quite entertaining. It's sort of like candy for an adult. And, uh -huh. uh, and so now Drugs I'm, I'm, I'm hooked adults. on all this celeb reality stuff myself, except for our show. They're, I won't they're touch a our show. Addicting. I know my husband comes home and says, all right, which reality show are we watching tonight? And you know what? <laughs> it feels good to watch other people's horrible problems because it makes you feel like your life is just that much more put together. And yeah, I'm glad that I, I can I help think people. I truth to that. Yeah, I'm glad that I can help people feel that, that way. That way, if we avoid <laughs> our own show, we, we can feel fine. <laughs> Chris, the Brady Bunch has been woven into the fabric of American life. You are forever linked with Peter Brady. Looking back on your experience and knowing, would you make the same choices and still participate in the show? Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I mean, uh, especially now knowing what I know about the Brady Bunch. At the time we did it, we didn't know we had that kind of success. In fact, it's only become more of a success over time. It is now arguably become uh, Americana and an icon. Uh, and that's a sort of a privilege. No one can aim to, to, uh, to attain that. Um, you, uh, you are gifted with that. So um, I, I'm very proud uh, and I'm very lucky to have been, to have been part of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're also one of the few child actors who made the transition out of television into corporate America and were very successful at it. What do you think the key was to the success post Brady? Staying out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> that would be one. <laughs> uh, you know, I, had a, I have, I have uh, varied interests and um, the idea of having a career in show business can be all consuming. And uh, the first thing it consumes is uh, your young life and the opportunities that you might have later that you can provide yourself by experiencing life in a corporate world early enough uh, because by the time you're 30 if you haven't started you're not going to be you're not going to be given an opportunity uh, my recommendation is for anyone who's going to be an actor or pursuing uh, the entertainment arts is to uh, complete your college education and have something else that truly interests you um, that you stay up on uh, stay educated in uh, so that you can be competitive in that market with that as an alternate career Take over the world, is what he's saying. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Adrian, you were the very first winner of America's Next Top Model. How did your life change after winning? Well, um, I moved out of my hometown, which has been coined prison town. And um, I, I guess basically, if it had not happened, I would have ended up marrying my high school sweetheart, living in a trailer, and living check by check. So I'd have to say the life change after the whole thing has been enormous, and I can never be more grateful than you know for reality TV. Have to be. Yeah. Um, as we close, you know, I'm I'm curious if either of you have ever been married before. I have twice before. But okay. We, I've been in love with my husband over 16 years, and if I can give you one piece of marital advice, that would be to appreciate the small things that you do for one another. Thank you. Never forget that. In fact, that's precisely what I need to do every day with Adrian. We do have to run. I do hate to cut us off. Thank you for being with us today on Sidewalk. Thank, Thank you. you for having us.